Good morning. My name is Russell Skip Barber, and I'm here at the Center for Interdisciplinary Research on AIDS um, here at the Yale Medical School's School of Public Health. And today we're going to look at multiple imputation as an approach to missing data. And this um, presentation is a follow-up to a more general presentation that is also in this series on missing data in general. Um, today we're going to focus on the Amelia, Amelia package uh, in our software, which incorporates aspects of Bayesian modeling into the imputation process. Please note that data uh, that to be used in this process must be missing completely at random or missing at random. Uh, data that is not missing at random is not suitable for multiple imputation runs in Amelia, nor any other method of, for missing this, actually. And I refer you back to the original uh, video, uh, the first video, in order to um, explain the differences uh, in here. There are numerous examples of multiple imputation in HIV research. I call your attention to Harrison et al., uh, 2008 in a publication in Public Health Reports with the Blessing of the CDC. Uh, and there are a number of um, uh, other research examples. And in HIV research where missing data is the rule and not the exception, then uh, multiple imputation takes on uh, an even greater importance. What is R? R is a statistical software, and it's also a language. And it's the de facto standard among statisticians for uh, development of uh, statistical packages. Right now, there are over 3,000 specialized task-specific add-on packages. And today, we're going to be using one of those, which is called Amelia. And this package was developed by Honecker, King, and Blackwell, and as revised uh, this year in 2013 for what is now referred to as Amelia II. Uh, um, Amelia, which is named after Amelia, indeed named after Amelia Earhart uh, as a symbol of missingness. The package actually resamples the original data using a bootstrap algorithm. It implements an expectation maximization algorithm. And uh, just to remind you, an expectation maximization algorithm is an iterative method for finding maximum likelihood or maximum a, uh, a posteriori estimates of parameters in statistical models. And Amelia uses all of the data to estimate mis missing values. In multiple imputation, what we are going to actually create several data sets that, although they honor the original data, the missing data might be slightly different. And you end up with you're actually creating other possible realities for the missing data. The number of data sets created in Amelia is set to five, which seems to be a minimum in in my review of the published literature. And after all, how many realities do you need? But in the end, all five of these data sets are combined to apply standard statistical analysis and further reduce bias. And this is done using the whimsically named Zilig um, algorithms in R. And um, I'll get to that in a moment. The capabilities of Amelia include uh, filling in missing data for single cross-sections, so, uh, such as survey data, uh, from a time series, um, like variables collected for each year in a country, or from a mixture of time series and cross-sectional data. As I mentioned, it implements a bootstrapping-based algorithm that gives essentially the same answer as standard uh, methods of imputation, but it is faster and can handle many more variables. Uh, it general, Amelia generalizes existing approaches by allowing for trends in time series across observations within a cross-sectional unit, as well as priors that allow experts to incorporate beliefs they have about the values of missing cells in their data. Uh, note that a graphical user interface makes knowledge, a detailed knowledge of R, unnecessary. This acts almost as a standalone pro uh, product. And notice that the coding, even without the GUI, is elegantly simple. If you're going to use the defaults, 
this is the syntax. But because we want to uh, make uh, multiple adjustments, the GUI, the graphical user interface, is indicated. And again, the syntax for calling up the uh, GUI is elegantly simple. We call up the library and then the term Amelia view and brackets. And there you will get within R uh, this uh, graphical user interface. And you can, using this, you can in import data from SPSS, Stata, or more commonly, a comma, uh, comma separated files, which can be created in uh, Excel very easily. And of course, it will read uh, data in the R format. Uh, this is what uh, you will get once you've loaded the data. And you'll see that this allows you to create transformations uh, to set boundaries uh, on the uh, data that will be imputed for each variable highs and lows that might be somewhat different from the minimums. Uh, and it also gives you an idea of how much is uh, missing. Um, now this process is not perfect and it is up to the user to look at the observed and imputed uh, values. And if we look here, we can see on the uh, a green line that the those are the mean imputations and the observed values um, are in black. And generally speaking, uh, they should not be the same if you think about it. But uh, they should not, the imputed values should not be wildly uh, out of skew with the observed uh, values. Y another diagnostic that Amelia can do is over imputation. And in this process, they remove all the known observations and rerun the learned imputation uh, algorithm. And they compare, it compares the imputed um, values to the known value that, and to see how close they are. So again, this doesn't look too bad for a uh, quick run here. It will also map the missingness for you. And I would urge everybody to do this, because it shows you uh, that it's a little jumbled here, but these are the observation numbers. But it shows you where things are missing and whether or not sequential. These uh, patient ID numbers are sequential. And suddenly, there's a, a number of missing uh, body mass index and weight uh, observations within here, within you know, a, a set time period, which might, may or may not be of interest. So um, now we would like to combine these. And we simply call up, we load the uh, Xilinx package uh, into R. And the Xilinx uh, package is known as Everyman's Statistical Package. It's named after the Woody Allen movie. <coughs> and it combines all five imputed data sets created by Amelia. And again, it does so with very simple syntax. Here's an example for multiple regression. We create an object in Zalig uh, using this formula. This was uh, a treatment and, uh, or the, excuse me, the um, a dependent variable. And we have two uh, independent variables. And then we simply uh, inform the Zelic package that the data is from multiple imputation and give it the five data sets and then ask for a summary of the um, statistical analysis. Now, I did this using a slightly different model um, using four uh, for independent variables in logistic regression in this example. And again, you see how very simple the syntax is. And this gives you a, an output uh, and p-values similar to anything you would find in uh, a statistical, uh, any statistical program. You can also reduce the number of data sets. Uh, you can subset them to uh, between two and four, if you want. Uh, although, as I've mentioned, five seems to be a minimum. Um, and Amelia will do more if you want 
uh, can create 10, 20 uh, imputed data sets. So usually five is considered a minimum. So thank you for your attention, and I hope uh, this, this is of use to you.